what I can say with respect to this awakening is that what I refer to by the pronoun me is a endless, dimensionless, silent, self-evident reality that hasn't ever been compromised by any of the experiences of my life so far. But what's even more important is that that eternal presence that I am is not distinct, not different, not separate in any way from the tiniest piece of, of this, this kaleidoscope of life. There's no boundaries, no distinctions, no borders, no seams, there's no um, separation. And when this immense paradox of being both infinite and finite is lived and breathed right in your very body, it creates, a, for me, a, a fervent tenderness in the experience of my life and of the world that is profoundly compelling. One other thing I can say about Samuel Bonder is that he has voluntarily and intentionally surrendered the favored position that is usually afforded people in uh, spiritual movements like this. And, and this um, spiritual democracy that has been created as a result is one of the more catalyzing effects or elements of this work. And in summary, I, I, um, I would just say that the immense gratitude and gratefulness and indebtedness that runs through me every day can't really be expressed with the word thank you, Samuel. But nonetheless, I say thank you and I love you and I hope to do justice to this immense gift.